Desert Regional Medical Center presents Dr. Hedel Bakta on atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a chaotic rhythm of the heart where the top chambers of the heart beat very irregularly. Most of the times what patient will describe this sensation as is flopping of the heart in the chest or it feels like the heart's dancing or skipping a beat or something of that sort. Some patients describe it as the food getting stuck in the middle of the chest because the top chambers of the heart are right in front of the esophagus, which is the food pipe. And when they're beating very erratically, that's the sensation you get. And in some cases, people don't even know that they have atrial fibrillation. With atrial fibrillation, the biggest problem is that people don't realize it sometimes that they have this condition. And when you have this problem, there are a couple of different issues that can occur. So the primary problem in atrial fibrillation is that the top chambers of the heart, which normally squeeze with every heartbeat, no longer squeeze, they just quiver. When they quiver, the blood doesn't move very well. When that happens, two things occur. Because they're not squeezing and pushing the blood down into the pumps of the heart, the ventricles, which are the pumps of the heart, don't fill properly. If they don't fill properly, they can't really pump the blood because if it's not there, it's not gonna make it out to the body. So you lose some degree of your heart's pumping capacity. The other more problematic issue that people run into is that when the blood is not moving, it tends to develop blood clots and those clots can dislodge at any point, and depending on where they go, they can wreak havoc, meaning if they go in the brain, you'll end up with a stroke. If they go in the heart, you get a heart attack, so on and so forth. People who have high blood pressure, obese people, people who have cardiac problems to begin with, like diabetes, cholesterol, valvular disease of the heart are the prime candidates for getting atrial fibrillation. So for atrial fibrillation, there are two ways of managing it. One is we can manage it with medications, which you have to take lifelong, and studies have shown that they're not very effective. In fact, in some cases, they're even more harmful than beneficial. And another approach to managing atrial fibrillation is doing a procedure, what we call cardiac ablation, which is done with a wire that we put inside the heart that then uses radio frequency energy, similar to a microwave in your house, to basically burn up the abnormal circuits that are causing atrial fibrillation in the heart. As the technology gets better and better with catheter ablations, we are getting more precise and more accurate in terms of burning the abnormal circuits. Stereotaxis is a robotic navigation tool that uses magnetic energy, similar to what an MRI does. So basically, we're gonna put this wire inside the magnetic field, which will help guide the wire. The benefit of this is it is more precise than what a manual ablation can do and more effective because the catheter remains more stable during the process of this thing. Traditionally, the way we did ablations was with a manual catheter. Now with a manual catheter, we can deflect the catheter in one direction or another, and we can twist the catheter around as best as we can. The problem is we're moving the catheter from outside the leg area. So there's a lot of transmission of that. That allows the restricted amount of motion because there's only so many ways the catheters can be tweaked or torqued into. With magnetic navigation like stereotaxis, it allows us to move the catheter in ways that we couldn't move it before and with the stability that we cannot get with manual catheters once we move it into a curved position. That allows us to deliver better lesion sets, which allow us to specifically target things that we wouldn't be able to get to before in a manner of more stability and more precision than it was before. Mm -hmm. 
The atrial fibrillation is a condition that will eventually keep getting worse if you don't do anything about it. Now, like with any other condition, the sooner you treat it, the higher the success rate and the better the success rate is because if you get it early on, it hasn't had the time to cause damage to other areas. So the sooner you get in to see your physician and get guidance on what the best approaches are, whether it's medication or it's ablation, that would be the right time to treat it.